Okay, let's go, Joy. Let's go with our report card. <laughs> All right, Professor Colin, what grade are you giving Tom Brady? B minus. He's getting into a bad habit of pick sixes. Now, Mike Evans was recovering from a hamstring injury. Leonard Fournette is not fully ready to go. They're going to look really good this week against Carolina's defense. But he is getting into – he's thrown a pick six in three consecutive games. So it, it, it is – listen, we just got rid of that guy. It's called Jameis Winston. So, like, let's get out of that space. I thought this was a really, really bad throw. That's a bad throw. B minus. Being very kind week one. All right. What grade are you giving Teddy Bridgewater? I feel harsh. B minus. The Raiders defense is awful. You're at home. You got to win that football game. You got you got really good weapons. You got to win that football. Now he did hit Robbie Anderson for Teddy Bridgewater's longest touchdown pass since his rookie year. Um, but to me, you're at home. You got Christian McCaffrey. You know, here's another thing. And I liked. And I'm a Teddy Bridgewater supporter. You are. You got to call a timeout and tell Matt Rule we're not running that stupid fullback dive. <laughs> I would just say no, we're not doing it. You've been in this league long enough. That's a rookie head coach. You just say we're not running that play. I got Christian McCaffrey. I'm not yeah. giving it to some guy who may not be on the squad in eight weeks. What grade are you giving Joe Burrow? B plus. I thought he looked good. That so he had, he throws a terrible interception. Mm-hmm. Following drive immediately after that, eight of 11, 70 yards, seven rush yards. His best drive of the day was after his biggest mistake. That shows maturity, uh, resilience, toughness. I thought Joe Burrow looked really, really good. And he also, he's a little bigger. It's, it's like he looks about 10, 12 pounds of just weight room stuff. He looked big and capable. Professor Colin, what grade are you giving Joe Judge? Giants coach D, a lot of bad. First of all, they couldn't run the football at all. 29 rushing yards. Fewest of any team week one. They also committed a delay a game in a fourth and one. First drive of the game. First drive of the game. You've got to delay a game. You can't have 12 plays scripted. I mean, come on now. Um, you know, I just the Jets and the Giants did not look well coached early on. What well, grade does Mike McCarthy get this week? They weren't terrible. C minus. Um, I would say this, three points on six drives in the second half. Great coaches are good after intermission. They also went for it in a fourth and three uh, late in the game. They could have they could have tied it up. Um, that's kind of situational football. I, I do like coaches that go for it. But I, I'm going to be pretty hard on coaches. One of the things I like about Pete Carroll, he's been, his teams are very good in the second half. Belichick's team, very good in the second half. Come on, you can't have Dak and Zeke and that old line and Amari and C.D. Lamb and Mike Gallup and give me three points. Dak is better than three points against that defense. What grade are you giving Cam Newton? A minus. I mean, they didn't ask a ton of him through the air, but I thought to walk in. Folks, he just got there. 15 and 19, led the Patriots in rushing. This was one of my concerns. This is not an easy offense. This is a complex offense with a lot of variables, a lot of looks, a lot of sets, a lot of movement. He figured it out quick. I'm not sure. By the way, that Jarrett Stidham is the next blobbity blobbity. That thing's <laughs> over, right? Oh, my God. God, what Jarrett Stidham I is. I forgot on. about that, actually. Well, what happened to that thing? Anyway. That, that was the dumbest story of the half off season. <laughs> what grade for Matt Rule? C minus. Lucky I don't flunk him out of the class. Mm. That play call. Have the ball, minute 26, at home. You hand off to a fullback and fourth and one with Christian McCaffrey. That is, by the way, you do realize here, this is a home game for a West Coast team early start time. The, yeah. the, you got to go for it. First of all, when you're a rookie coach at your first game, you got some leeway. If you go for it and, and you try to throw them, you know, you, you do something clever and you don't get it. People are going to say, well, Matt Rule's a college guy. He's clever. He's out of the box. That looks like 1974 NFL football. Matt Rule, that's not who you are. They didn't hire you to do that. I can hire a John Fox to do that. <laughs> what grade are you giving Ron Rivera? Highest of the weekend, A+. plus. Guy got an IV at halftime. 17-point uh, deficit. A 14 quarterback hits on Carson Wentz. He's always been a good defensive coach. Um, but I, you know what? That's as impressive a thing as w the Washington football team has done after a chaotic offseason of nonsense. I mean, stuff inside the organization. 
you got Dwayne Haskins, who played a very good second half. That is an A-plus coaching job by Ron Rivers, an easy guy to root for. What grade are you giving Phillip Rivers? Let's slow down on the Phillip Rivers hate. C. They asked him, Joy, to throw 46 times. Yeah, that's a lot. He threw 363 passes, or 363 yards. Now, that would have been something. <laughs> he also lost Marlon Mack, so they didn't have any running game. You cannot ask a quarterback to throw 40, 45 times and then chew him out because he throws a pick. That, that, you don't even want Mahomes throwing that many times. That's ridiculous, so I give him a C. Finally, Professor Colin, what grade are you giving Kevin Stefanski? D. I don't want to hear about no preseason. Okay, first quarters mean a lot. Joe Judge had a bad first quarter. Adam Gase had a bad first quarter. Kevin Stefanski had a bad first quarter. I don't expect Cleveland to beat Baltimore. But you got to come out in your first 12 plays offensively, move the ball, and look organized, and not have penalties and turnovers. Not good. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.